when we sit for a lecture with the group of people, sometimes 50, sometimes 100, sometimes 500, sometimes thousands, how you are going to come and to prepare a lecture, Mr. Nietzsche, and dear viewers? You cannot prepare a lecture. Preparing a lecture, you have to go and read books, and then you have to write and come to the, uh, to the listeners and to read them, to read for them. And how you are going to know what kind of hearts these viewers coming or these listeners are coming to, to listen to you? You don't know ahead of time who is coming. So how you are going to prepare a lecture? Then it is going to be a common lecture, like books. But masters, especially from the golden chains, the masters, the masters of the hearts, the master, the Sufi masters of the high levels, they don't prepare anything. They come and sit, and then they look at the hearts of the people sitting there. And then when they look at the hearts of people sitting there, they know every person what he wants and what he needs to his heart. Some people need this medicine. Some people need that medicine. Some people need different kind of medicine. So for everyone they have to give his medicine and his cure. If you don't give his medicine, then he's not going to feel happiness and he's not going to come to you another time. By reading a, an ordinary lecture like people read, some people they go and sleep in the, in the lecture. They are not understanding. You are putting words together and you are reading like politicians. If we are not politicians, our masters are seekers, are uh, spies of hearts. They know what the heart wants. They know how to make the heart happy and they give to the heart. When they give to, they give to the heart and make the heart happy, then they control the heart. And when they look at the heart and know what she wants and the other what she wants and then the other what she wants, through that lecture, through that lectures, which don't look at me, look at the one who is speaking through my heart. I am like a radio. They are broadcasting through my heart. They look at you. And they make me to look at your heart and transmitting that picture to them like television and when that picture is transmitted everyone they know what you need and then they give to the heart through them you give a lecture everyone sitting in that lecture will say oh the sheikh the master is telling he is addressing that lecture to me special the, the other one you say no it's to me i i got what i need the third one say no it's, I got what I need. So everyone from that lecture will be happy, getting what he needs, getting cure for his disease, and finding way to free his spirit after its reality. And this is the difference between an ordinary scholar that he gained his uh, knowledge through books and a Sufi master that he gained his knowledge through hearts. Every person has different kind of spirituality. You have different kind, I have different kind. Everyone has a different kind God has created him. So master will look at your reality. And when he looks at your reality, he knows what kind of a person you are. When he knows what kind of a person you are, he will direct you how to follow that path to reach your reality. Everyone must reach his reality. We are images here. Our realities are not here. We are images. As you look at a mirror and you see yourself reflecting there, in that, inside the mirror is the image. You cannot feel, you cannot do anything, you cannot see even. But only you can have action. You can change your hand or move or something like that. But 
your reality is outside. Also, this world is a mirror which reflects our realities which are in the divine presence of our Creator, will reflect that world, that realities, and will give us shapes in this world. Spirit doesn't have limitation. This physical body is a cage for our spirit. Our spirit is imprisoned, is in the prison of that of that of the body, which is a cage for our for our spirit. When we get rid of that physical body, our spirit is running everywhere. Our spirit spirit will be free and will know and understand which is beyond our mind. Mind shows only the physical things. But spirit and heart will go beyond that. And you are going to know at that time that things that not, cannot, found, cannot be found in books Wisdoms will come to your heart, knowledge come you, to your heart through inspiration from your masters and you are going to find yourself like Sufi masters from 1400 years. That sometimes they write something that when you read it you feel extraordinary from where this knowledge is coming. It's a very deep knowledge. Sufism will show you the way to understand about the Creator, what everything related to the Creator. You want to understand that level of knowledge, you have to go through Sufism. You want to understand original uh, level of knowledge that, the, that in this world you have to go through books and you have to go through religion. Our mind is created, but our spirit is from our Lord. He is the creator. So what you can touch is created. How a created thing can understand about the creator? It's difficult to understand about the creator. Sufism will take you to higher standard, to higher standard in order to understand the realities. Yes. So, first step. In, re in seeking reality, first step generally for everyone in order to, to open, you need the key for your door. Everyone has a different key for his door, for that path. That key for that door, first of all, is you have five different keys for your door, to open your doors. First door, you have to be humble for everyone. To look at them, to look at people with humbleness. When you look at them with humbleness, that door, first door you are open. Second door, you have to love everyone as you love yourself. You must not always say myself, myself, myself first. No. You have first to love people as you love yourself. This is first. Sec uh, second door. Third door, the key of the third door is respect. You have to respect all human beings. 
God has created them equal. No discrimination between human beings. You cannot say that is inferior and I'm superior or that is superior and I am inferior. No. We have to look at everyone with the same equality, with the same level. Then you have the fourth door is the door one of the most important door is to help to be help for people to help people whenever you find someone needs help you have to run quickly and help him as much as you can if you cannot help as much as you can at least you show him something that you are trying to help but this what can come through your hands but if you go to higher level you have to help him whatever you have been given from power you have to help him even if you have to sacrifice yourself for him this is fourth door and fifth door you have to carry the burden of your first of your group second of your community third of all human beings you must be carrier of burden sacrifice yourself for their benefit to carry their to sacrifice yourself to carry their mistakes to carry their their sins to sacrifice yourself and to go to the presence of God sacrificing yourself for their benefit this is the master degree the last degree through these five doors you can find your reality without these doors you cannot find your reality you are still where where you be where you have begun you have to go from one level to another level to another level to the fifth level in order you can open the door of your reality and when you are swimming in that ocean Mr. Leach you will forget all about this life you will be swimming in something that gives you happiness and satisfaction you will never feel depressed in all your life whatever difficulties comes to you you will never feel depressed or you will never feel uh, you are under big burdens no whatever you it comes as if to you is is the same it's the same level this needs lot of progress and with the help of a master you can approach your reality There are 124,000 masters. And out of the 124,000 masters which they know realities, there are 7,007 higher masters. And from 7,007 higher masters, there are 313 higher in rank also. And out of the 313, there are 40 which we name them as the golden chain the highest one some masters you are a follower of a master perhaps you stay all your life you cannot find your reality for other masters, you stay with them 10 years, 15 years, you find your reality. Some masters, first year, second year, you are with your reality. This depends on the master level and depends on your progress. Maulana, a grand sheikh and 
our master represent masters, Sufi masters as a circle that circumference of the circle and the midpoint of the circle is the divine presence giving to that circle you have radius from the circumference uh, from the center to the circumference infinite number of radius there because you know in a circle there are infinite number of points so from center to the circumference there are infinite number of radius so all masters are swimming in that ocean of the circumference they are taking from the divine presence from the same point from the same uh, center they are all of them they taking from the same essence so these masters which are in that circumference are of the same level these masters are the 40 masters, the golden chain. From that golden chain, one of that master who is living in that world, who is still on, the, on life, because every master pass away, another one comes. So in that circumference, 40 masters are swimming in that ocean. One of them, which is alive, will give he will be a center for another circumference for the 330 is giving them all his knowledge is spread to them everyone will take the same knowledge as the other from the 313 it will spread to the 7007 one of them spread to the 7007 from the one of the 7007 it will be spread to 124,000 and it will be spread through all the world this knowledge so if you go to a master from the 124,000 he is going to take you to the 7,007 7, 7, level if you find someone from the 7,007 he will take you to the 313 if you find one from the 40 he will take you directly to the divine presence so there are ways to cut, shortcuts. So if you find that shortcut, you are, the, you are going to be the bene, uh, to benefit quickly. Why? Because you reach your reality very soon. The last one of the forties of that of that golden chain is Sheikh Muhammad Nazim Al Hakani. He is uh, the leader of the Naqshbandi distinguished order of Sufism. He is the leader in this world, and he is well known in Middle East countries, all Middle East countries, Far East, Europe, and. Uh, South America and America and his followers are widely spread over all these countries uh, he is from his childhood uh, has been in this order he is uh, when he was in this order in the same time he was st studying chemistry and he has a PhD from the American University in Istanbul in chemistry he has a PhD then he has a PhD in Islamic uh, uh, religion then with that he was also following a great master uh, from the golden chain from the golden chain sorry uh, he, uh, he was uh, Sheikh Abdullah al Dahistani coming from Dagestan near Bukhara where is Shah Naqshuban uh, the Naqshuban the order was named in, on his name who is coming from that area he is his sheikh to Sheikh Muhammad Nazim al Haqqani and when he passed away he transferred all the secrets to his 
descender, Sheikh Muhammad Nazim al hakkani Why people seek reality? Because they know there is something missing in them. And this is sickness. They want to get that missing part. So how to get that missing part? Is by finding a master or a doctor to show them their medicine. To give them a medicine in order to follow that way. So, for example, when, when someone comes to him, he will direct him to a different path from the other. Everyone has a different path. He will show him a different way. Not all of them, they must go through this one path. No. Because our Lord has created you different. He created me different. He created him different. He created her different. He created everyone different. He didn't create all the people the same. This is the most important thing. Everyone in this world now, he is missing something. And he's trying to find this thing he's not knowing. Some people, they go for picnics. They, some people, they want to find their uh, missing things through uh, psychiatrists. Some people through psychologists. Some people, uh, they say, we are, uh, we are missing something. We have to go to a hospital to make uh, laboratory tests, examination. Some people say, no, we have to go to beach. Everyone is trying to find a way through this materialistic life. And no one is trying to find a way through spirituality, which it will take him toward what he is missing, what he is feeling missing in him. When you are following, you are coming to the master, the master will not call you. You have to come through your destiny to your master. He will pull you in the world of reality. You feel yourself attached and running to that master. And then you are going to find yourself coming to the same group. And these groups, they meet with each other every Thursday and Saturdays evening. They recite uh, God's name, God names, through different kinds of recitings, by chanting the, the, the names. And uh, I hope if you have time to sit with us later, in order that you will hear some of this uh, chanting and recitings. Now every every time we change in that recitings and in that chantings according to the hearts of the uh, group there. Every time we have different kind of people coming. So we have different kind of hearts. So we have different kinds of diseases on that spirits. So according to every person uh, uh, heart, our master will send different kind of chanting. cannot give the exact meaning. This can be practiced. It is not like reading a lecture or reading a story. No, you have to practice this. You have to feel this. What I am saying now is tongue's word. When you sit there with the master and you sit with that gathering on Thursday and Saturdays, chanting, you will feel Something coming to your heart, you will feel a light. Mr. Leach, we don't have discriminations between religion. All of us are slaves of one Lord, of a Creator. We believe in Him. 
We believe in God. And all religions believe in God. The Jews, they believe in God. The Christian, they believe in God. Muslims, they believe in God. And many different kinds of groups also, they believe in a creator. Some, they believe in superpower. Some, they believe in something extraordinary above nature. So all of them, they believe. If you go deeper in their hearts, you will find belief in real creator. He create all these universes. He create all human beings. He create everything. So if we believe in our Lord, all of us the same, why to make, uh, to put religion as a condition to see God? Religion came to show you that there is a creator. Okay, we believe. We are accepting. And Jew, they say, there is God. Christian, they say there is God. Muslims, they say there is God. So, all of them, they believe in God. So, whatever you take of that real religion will take you to, the, to God. It has different ways. This way take you to God, that way take you to God, that way you take you to God. So you can choose your religion and you go to God. But when you have to understand that you are going to practice your real religion. Don't say, I am Christian and you are not practicing Christianity. And don't say, I am Muslim and you are not practicing Islam. And don't say, I am Jews and you are not practicing Judaism. When you practice real Christianity, real Judaism, real Islam, you are going to find all of the human beings are brothers and sisters. There is no problem, there is no enmity. There is no differences because everyone showed you a way. I am accepting all the ways. And Sufism is taking all these ways and taking you through through these ways with the shortest cut to show you to take by your hand and showing you quickly to catch your reality quickly so it is not uh, you have to be of a certain religion to come to, through sufism no because in, from any religion you can come to Sufism or from any kind of group you can come to Sufism because Sufism will take you to your reality and when you arrive to your reality at that time you are going to find your Lord and at that time you are going to find that a religion was a way of, of, a way of life also. Religion came in order not only to polish your hearts and polish your spirits, it came also to show uh, laws, to put laws for human beings to live on. And we are accepting these laws. Religion came to show people how to behave together, to behave with themselves. Everyone knows his rights. Everyone knows where is he in the community. So if we are accepting this, from all directions, we are accepting these laws. So, Sufism came only to show you the purity of the heart which will direct you to your Lord with, uh, by seeking that way of light, not going through ordinary laws, because Sufism is taking one part of your uh, uh, life is taking the spiritual part. Religion came to show you your physical parts also, what has to do with community and people. But Sufism came to take your spiritual part directed quickly toward your Lord. And you know, spiritual part are more faster than physical uh, part. So, going through spirits 
toward your reality to find your Lord is more faster than going through physical. Physical religion uh, will show you how to reach your Lord through physical ways. This will take a little bit long time. But when you understand your way physically and go to spirituality and find your way through the Sufism, this will quickly take you toward the presence of your Lord. So it's not necessary that you have to be one of one religion in order to enter Sufism. No. All Sufi masters, were, they have followers from different kinds of uh, religion. You can find between our group, our master group, Jews, you can find Christians, you can find Muslims, you can find Buddhists, you can find Hindus. But at the end, they come all together in one circle. And always our master uh, vision and looking at that circle when they these people they are going to gather in it later he is not going to look them at the first step so from whatever kind of religion they come and finally they are going to be in one circle so anyone can come and listen to what we are saying or can sit in our chanting from any kind of group or any kind of religion, we welcome him and we don't discriminate him and we see him the same as our level. We don't see him inferior when we are superior. No, we are equal because we are human beings. Now, by the order of our master, I came here because, as I told you in the beginning of the speech, that my master like people here in this part of the world and like this country because it is a free country and because America, uh, most of them, they are believers in God, like, not like the communist country they are not believers in God here they believe in a creator and here uh, everyone uh, has uh, the freedom of opinion and freedom, freedom of way of beliefs so uh, that's why masters many masters they like this country and they are praying for this country and they like the people in that country, in this country. So uh, here, with God's uh, support and with our master support, we are trying uh, to establish the uh, most distinguished Nakshwendi order, which is we have now in England, in London, we have two or three centers. Uh, under the supervision of our master Sheikh Muhammad Nazim Al Haqqani, uh, and we have also in uh, Yugoslavia one center, we have in Germany one center, we have in, uh, in Turkey, Istanbul, we have also in Egypt, we have in Saudi Arabia, we have in Damascus, Syria, we have in Lebanon. We have in uh, Jordan, uh, we have also in Dubai, a very big center, a very big powerful center there. And we have also in the Far East, in Malaysia, in Brunei, in Singapore, in uh, Korea, in Taiwan. We have also in South America, in Argentina, and uh, in Brazil. We have also in Holland, Switzerland, Swe Sweden. So, uh, France, France, all, all the part of the world, uh, we have places and we have different kind of groups, different groups. They are meeting there every Thursday and Saturday. Here in America, with God blessings, we have established four center, four places, and we are trying now uh, to establish a big place in California, in uh, in San Francisco Bay area 
uh, we have a mosque now in Palo Alto, uh, in California Avenue. Uh, one of the of our brothers also has uh, given that place, uh, that uh, center, in order to practice there every Thursday and Saturdays. In New York, we have in Woodstock one center also. In New Mexico, we have one center in uh, Santa Fe, and we have one center in Chicago, and we have one center in uh, Palo Alto uh, in Ca on California Avenue. So uh, anyone who likes uh, to, to listen, to come and listen, or to see what we are doing and what we are practicing and our ways of beliefs, how we are seeking reality, they are most welcomed to come to these four places, four centers which are around the country. And we hope that this is the seed for a big group here that work on the hearts of a human being, especially on their spirits, to polish their, their spirits in order to find their way of life, their happiness, to, have, to, to find satisfaction in their hearts. And I, I like from all viewers, dear viewers, to come and see what we are doing and we will be happy to welcome them and to receive them there. And uh, our master is coming to open our center in Palo Alto. He will be coming to New York on the 13th of, this, of August, staying in New York for uh, eight days, nine days in the center on, in Woodstock and in a center in Broadway uh, in Manhattan and uh, then going on the 22nd to Chicago and then on the 27th he is coming to San, Fra uh, to San Francisco airport to go to open that center in Palo Alto and uh, I hope that when he will come uh, we will uh, send flyers and papers and sent brochures to many uh, people who are interested in this. And if anyone wants to come, he can contact us at that address with Mr. Leach. I will take give it to you later. And I am very thankful for you to make this opportunity to us to speak this uh, uh, talk, to have this conversation with you and with our uh, esteemed and honorable viewers and thank you very much and we are asking forgiveness from our Lord to ourselves and to yourselves and to all viewers and we are asking protection for everyone who is seeing us and listening to us and we are asking happiness and satisfaction for everyone and thank you very much. Ways, all the ways, any way you take, Mr. Leach and dear viewers, any way, any person seeking reality and take one way, he is going to reach his reality. But sometimes you will go on a street which is far away to reach your the, way, the place you want to go, you will take a long way. Some people take shortcuts. So here you have to know and to choose. That master is going to take you from the way which is a very long way or that master is going to take you from the a very short way. So as much as you can find that master higher in degree, you are going to find your reality quickly. This is 
your way forward. Yes. Is that? 